10-part comedy drama series from Apple yeah, TV so. Plus has yeah. come to an end as the final I season, or I should say episode, ways. streams today. The show centers around an exclusive country club in 1969 Palm Beach, Florida, and the quest of one woman, played by Kristen Wiig, to break into high society. The series also stars Laura Dern, Allison Janney, Leslie Bibb, Carol Burnett, Josh Lucas, and the one and only Ricky Martin. So joining us live now is Ricky Martin, who plays one of my favorite characters on the show, Robert Diaz. Ricky, so great to see you virtually, even though you play the bartender slash pool boy and the caretaker of wealthy Norma Delacour, played by the one and only Carol Burnett. We really get to know and That's fall right. in love with Robert, especially, I think, after episode six. So many comedic and tender moments. So what's it like for you to play such a dynamic character in a sea of brilliant actresses? Thank you so much. You don't understand how lucky I feel to be able to work with this goddesses in, <laughs> in, in acting and in, and in comedy. Uh, they told me about the show, and obviously you ask, you always ask, you know, who's attached to it, and they started dropping names, and I was like, I don't need to read the script. I want to be a part <laughs> of it. And then, <laughs> and then obviously when you read the script and you see how, how funny it is, yet how profound and deep and dark at times, you say this is a gem, and I and I really want to see what I can, you know, make out of of, of Robert, who is a, a secret keeper, who is a man that also has a lot of secret, that has a very conflicted uh, past, and uh, and he's he's uh, one of the most powerful characters that I've been able to portray in in my short uh, acting career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you credit a lot of your acting cho chops to uh, when you were in Mexico and, you know, you did everything from the stage to film, then General Hospital in 1994. Now, your character, Robert, like Kristen Wiig's character, Maxine, you are an outsider and you guys start fighting off this kind of cat and mouse relationship. But, you know, unlike her, you're not trying to change yourself to gain entry into this high society world. Do you think that's one of the central themes in the show, you know, being on the outside looking? in chasing the dragon trying to belong because you talk about how you're an artist mm -hmm. and even though you've got grammys it's like okay what's next is it the tonys the emmys mm -hmm. yeah we all some way somehow we've all felt the need to belong to a club or a group of people that maybe we just don't belong for example i started working in in music when I was 12 years old, but the first time I had the opportunity to work as an actor, I was only 15 years old. And back then they told me, you're either in music or you're, you're an actor, you cannot do both. And I'm like, wait, why, why not? Then music did its thing and I just, I just had to, I just had to serve the wave. Uh, but uh, for me, it's about storytelling. It doesn't matter if it's a song or a story in a script. I will just try to get as vulnerable as I can in order for me to convince the audience about about the emotions that uh, the character, that being in music or acting, are, are mm -hmm. going through at the moment. And, uh, and yes, to be able to work with Kristen Wiig, who's a wonderful and a very generous actress who is constantly asking you, how are you, how are you feeling? What do you think about the scene? Are you ready for this? Do you, yeah. do you wanna change something? For me, that's liberty. For me, that's freedom uh, as an actor and as a storyteller. And I just loved every single moment of it. Now, I, mm -hmm. I, I think that anything can happen with the story. I don't think it's there yet. We, I don't want to think about an end. So Apple TV Plus, hint, hint, hint. Come on, mm -hmm. let's do it. Let's bring it another season. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's been it's been beautiful to work with this, yeah, this project. Yeah, it, it, it's really great. And your chemistry with Kirsten Wig. There's a really funny scene where you know she dances around trying to ask your character Robert if he's gay, and you know your answer to that is very similar to how vulnerable and open you were in the early 2000s about your own life. Uh, so I hope everyone gets a chance to watch Palm Royal. I mean, the setting, the beach, the tans, the costumes, it's brilliant. And mm -hmm. you really steal the show, Ricky Martin. So congrats oh. to you. And people know that you're also Thank headlining you. Pride uh, in L.A. this June. So congrats to you on all your That's success. Right. I hope you do more acting. Take Thank care. You.